stayed right there right there gear kind of stuff. We're going to be okay though. Okay, we've been hiking five minutes and my life is full of regrets right now.
Here we are at waterfall number two. It actually hasn't been that long, and it's pretty nice. Okay, we made it. It actually wasn't that bad. Uh, I didn't want to strangle Leanne at all, which surprised me. So it's worth it. Two waterfalls, no strangulation. Okay, about to uh, try to pay my speeding ticket. We'll see if they have any more info on me like uh, breaking a gate and owing tolls. I'm nervous. Well, I wasn't expecting that for good news. Um, I don't exist. My uh, license plate doesn't exist. She said I don't have to pay anything. So, thank you, Panama. because just today I've seen five open manual covers that would have fucked up probably my entire life to be honest it's dangerous but here I am $1.50 the only kid on the train in the mall Woo -hoo! Just bought a motorcycle jacket and a toque and a long sleeve. You know why? Because I'm going where it's cold for a bit. But I got a great deal on it and it looks good. Okay, I bought another hard drive to back up all my stuff because that's super important to me. And I figured I'd uh, mail it home to my sister. And they just quoted me $82 to mail a tiny little one terabyte hard drive to Canada. I'm gonna try somewhere else. 
sometimes things are so stupid when you're traveling, like why they don't make sense. So I went to the post office. The guy says, go to the first floor. So I take the stairs to get some exercise. I search all over the first floor. There's no post office. I go find the security guard. He puts me in the elevator. The first floor is actually the second floor. I'm like, come on. Okay, I'm almost over my crankiness today, but you know. So I found a place to mail it. I need an envelope. So, why wouldn't they sell envelopes at the fucking post office? Come on. Okay, the, uh, the lady, super nice lady, who works at the post office, is bonkers. But I just saved $81. We'll see. Well, I haven't saved anything until the hard drive arrives at Mark and Tracy's place in Fort Lauderdale. Here's your uh, hostel tip from a professional traveler. Always check out the beds. Go have a look, see if you can see who's gonna be in your room, because it could be a snorer. And more often than not, that snorer is a bigger person. It sucks, but that's the truth. And I love my sleep. And sometimes I don't get it, and Al's cranky in the morning. Al was cranky this morning. <laughs>